Good morning. I'm here to paint this morning. <clears throat> I'll wait till um, some people join me. I was running a little late today. Um, the bus came late for my daughter. Ellen, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Lots of you guys popping in this morning. Um, good morning. So I woke up really early this morning. I couldn't sleep. My mind was racing. Hi, Donna. Because um, I had so many things on my mind. So I got up early. And at least I got all my stuff ready to go. Um, because the bus was late for my daughter today. So how are you? Hi, Joanne. Hi, Ellen. Good morning. So I'm gonna turn this around here. Um, oops. I'm gonna paint hydrangeas this morning. How fun is that? Um, okay, I think that's okay. Let me move this down. Good. Okay, I've had a crazy week. I really had very little time to paint yesterday morning and um, but I'm excited to paint this morning. So as usual, let me know if you have any questions or anything. Hi, Julie. Okay, I have uh, my medium here ready to go. And I'm gonna use a bigger brush here to start, I think. It's always a good idea that a lot of times I I need some bigger brushes. My brushes are getting, look how terrible that looks. I need to uh, treat myself to some new brushes. This one's, bit, this one's a little bigger. It's kind of a fun one. I think I need to buy some new rosemary brushes. This is a really nice one. It's um, a number eight rosemary and company Eclipse short flat. I think I'm going to Buy a couple of these today because I also need to get my this medium that I like to use is called zest it and I can get that from her too because they're both in in, in, in the UK but this brush is a little um, okay so this morning I was thinking about um, working on an online class. So I might do like a little, um, like a survey or something to see if people would be interested if I do something like that. Was, um, I had so many ideas this morning. I need to um, actually write them all down. And I'm also thinking about doing a painting workshop in New Hope, Pennsylvania. So I wonder, I did ask before if people were would be interested in that, and I got a lot of yeses. So I think that's um, something I'm definitely going to plan because I'm going to go there, I think, this weekend, and I could start thinking about that. I love the colors in these hydrangeas. I think I took this photo in Rehoboth Beach this summer so many beautiful hydrangeas there. When I go to the beach, I, uh, I uh, get distracted. Hi from Switzerland. Oh, everybody say where you're from. I love when we do this. Where's everybody from? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I was born and raised here. And um, I only live a couple blocks from where, where I grew up. And my office is a block from here. Virginia, I know, Ellen. Pittsburgh. Ontario, Canada. I should read these because when I put this up on Facebook, it doesn't... Uh, Scottsdale, um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Boring Pope Toledo. Boring. Peninsula, <laughs> Michigan, where it's snowing. Oh, Georgia, Chester County. That's not far from here. Hi, how are you? 
I need to send your painting to you that you won. Okay. Greensboro, North Carolina. Hi, Lou. How are you? Ellen, Lancaster. We love Lancaster, right? Ellen's coming to my workshop um, in a couple of weeks. I've got to really get ready for that. A lot of fun things coming up in the spring. Lots of fun things. Yeah, so um, make sure you're on my email list if you want to be in the know of uh, upcoming things. I'm hoping to plan some stuff this weekend. Montreal, Canada. Nice. Good, Lou. I'm glad you're doing well. Oh, wait, I turned the music. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Okay. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So I think I'd love to create an online course. I keep thinking about it. I just don't quite make it happen. So I had some ideas this morning. I think I'm going to try and work on that. Brainstorm for it this weekend. Hi, Steph. How are you? Okay, I should do it. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Olivia. Is Olivia watching too? Lisa and Olivia are my neighbors. When we try your work, would you like us to send them to you? Um, Suzanne, you can, or, um, I've been using, I started a hashtag. Hi, Susan in Richmond. Um, oh, good. Both kids say hi. Lisa, um, Olivia and Hayden live right behind me. Um, and the kids are probably getting ready for school. Um, and now I just forget what I was talking about. Shoot. Oh, I've been using a hashtag called, um, create with all of your heart. And that's a place where if you add that hashtag when you post a painting, then I'll see it because I go and check on that. So that's probably an easier way to do it than sending it to me. Sometimes I get so many things I don't keep up with it all. Like if anyone ever asks me a question or something and I don't answer you, it's not because I don't mean to. Oh, thank you. That cleanness is what I've been ever forever working on is keeping it clean um but if i if you ever ask me a question and i don't respond because i really try to always respond i if someone sends me something and i i lose track of things like i go back and i can't figure out uh if someone wrote to me on on facebook or on instagram or it's just overwhelming sometimes to keep track of it all so if i don't get back to you just write to me again It's a lot to keep track of, although I love it. Yeah, keeping your colors clean is, is a challenge, but so important. I'm not watching. Hi, Kim. How are you? Yep, create with all of your heart. But you put all your words together in a row. So that it says create with all of your heart. And if you type that in your search in Instagram, down in the little, you know, um, magnifying glass thing, you'll see all the posts that have been posted to that. 
It's fun. And I follow, like, you can follow a hashtag too. Like, like, just like you follow a person, you can follow a hashtag. So then if someone posts to that hashtag, you'll get to see it. And that's how I see them. And I try to always remember to use it myself. Yeah, drawing flowers is so fun, isn't it? I think it's my favorite thing to paint. I need more green there. So now I'm thinking about um, value and color a little bit. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, I love this part of it too. Sometimes I I think my goal is to be able to paint this this loosely and then just let it go. I mean not quite. You know what I mean though, but try not to uh but it never quite looks finished, but I love it when it's not finished, when it has that kind of rawness about it. And the, the colors in those flowers are kind of unusual. It's going to be a little challenging to mix those colors, but that's what makes it fun, right? Mm. Oh, I know. I should do a little bit of um, Caribbean blue. I have some other colors, purples maybe. Flower. Yeah, I, flowers are fun to paint. Every year I don't take enough photos of flowers. I feel like I'm running out of things to paint. I think I always feel like that this time of the year. And in the summertime, I try to take so many photos, but I still get to the point where it's like, ugh. I don't have, I've painted everything, every photo I took. And when I go to market, the flowers aren't quite as, um, Ellen, um, well, they're kind of mixed. They're just transparent layers. See, here's my piles. They're all very transparent. Like I can just wipe these up. It has the medium in them. So I do mix. I'm basically using um, ultramarine blue, sap green, um, a little... Uh, di dioxazine purple, tiny bit of Indian yellow, and that's kind of about it. And I did have, I have a little pile of it, like this darker color here that I mixed up when I was painting yesterday. Um, that I'll put in here in the dark areas a little bit more here before I do my, uh, my really fun pigment sticks. That you all know I love love to use. Thank you, Alan.
Okay, now I'm probably overworking it, so I'm going to stop there. Clean my, wipe my brush off. Just wiping it off with a Viva paper towel like this to clean it up for now. And then I'm just going to wipe up my transparent colors because if I use transparent colors now, in the next layer it gets too wet. So that transparent underpainting leaves it um, wet enough to work into. In pits, where in the gentleman, I spoke with the gentleman and Blick. You mean Dick Blick in about the pigment sticks? Can you get them? Where do you live? Hi, Lonnie. Okay. So, and I do have, I bought a new pigment stick that I love. It is called, here you can see what, um, here are my, my fun bucket of pigment sticks. I bought two new colors. This one, uh, Provence Blue. Like how perfect for this, right? Recommended that you do store them in the, oh, okay, good. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, because I have two over here that I can't get out of the two. But that's good to know that I need to do that. right ordered some greens and a pink oh yeah good I bought this really light one this is called scarlet extra pale and it's almost like just a very very pale pink almost a white color so I'll put a little of that in here since I have it out <clears throat> like in here I guess I'd see that color a little bit Enough of that. And sometimes I try to add in a color or two that's a little not not necessarily what I see too. So I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, this one was called an aquadome magenta. It's a very pretty color. And the gold. Oh, I should do a little green. And maybe turquoise. Okay. A couple more. This one looks a little dry, so I'm going to clean the end off with my paper towel because it gets a little film on it. RNF, and they said to wrap the color sticks in saran wrap. Oh, okay, Barbara, that's a good idea. Thank you for these ones. Like, I can't get like a couple of them out of the tubes anymore, so maybe I could try and cut the tube. Of course, I'll have it all over myself, but I do that anyway. Um, I have the green and the gold. Okay, that's that's a good idea. Green. I do need green in here. Is 
Is everybody else enjoying these? Anyone who bought them? Are they helping you to loosen up like they do me? I always want to play around with like to do um, um, surface pattern design. I think that I would enjoy that. Like I could see these as being super cool sheets, right? Varnish a painting when you've used. Yes, I do still varnish the paintings. I think it protects them. Um, and I like it brings out some of the color, especially darker colors. It makes them look richer when you varnish. But it may take, it does take a little longer to dry, I think, with the pigment sticks. Yes, loose, loose and fun. Oh, 721 already. I gotta keep focused here. Am I going slow today? I might be. What happens when I'm tired? All that thinking I was doing this morning about workshops and online painting classes. I just need to make a plan and make it happen. I'm going to put a little gold in here. Ooh, isn't that fun mixed together, those colors in there? I love that. All right, I think that's enough playing around. I bought a bunch a while ago, but mine are a different brand, not as creamy as yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never tried a different brand. I don't know how I first started playing with these. And then someone, I'd gotten these fun little Snellier little, little sticks, but you can't, these don't dry, I guess. They're oil pastels, but they're harder. And they're just the prettiest little things, aren't they? So I, look how nicely they match with that. Um, so I need to play with that too. All right, let's try and mix some of these fun colors. Oh, it's fun, right? Okay, get down here. Sorry for all that noise now that I know how awful that sounds. I need some whites. How I'm running out of whites here. I need to buy myself some Vasari paints, too. I love Vasari paints. They're expensive, but they're amazing. And because I'm doing a workshop coming up, I need to have a good supply of things. So I've been shopping more than I usually let myself shop for art supplies, but it is, like, the most fun thing to do, right? Um, do a little bit of this, my favorite video, blue extra pale. I mean, there's definitely that color in there. Um, ooh, lots of that color. Now that I'm thinking, I think I have another. Um, oh, this is a good one too. The Charvin Caribbean blue might be nice too. These Charvin paints are a little thicker. They have some beautiful colors. Like this is similar, but. Not quite, see? Okay. Um, should I try a different color? Sometimes I like to play with, um, see what Prussian blue is like. I don't, oh, wait, I don't know if I can get this open. Never mind. I um, usually keep a, uh, a pliers here to open the paint tubes that are, that I can't open anymore, but they walk away. Whenever anyone in my house needs something, they come down here. Um, the varnish that I've been using, oh, it's right here. I love when people ask me the question and I know the answer. Gamvar I've been using. Um, when I was learning about it the other night, um, when I couldn't sleep, I was watching videos. Goodbye, Lisa. Bye, Hayden and Olivia. I hope you have a good day. Um, I was watching a video and, and when I first started varnishing, I would like brush it on like a cross. Yeah, I got this nice brush for it too. Um, 
this is art mines. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't even, I might have gotten this at AC more. I only use it for varnishing, but um, I loosen it up. But I would put my varnish on like this, like across. But really, you have to like, like, because the paint is ups and downs, you have to kind of like work it in like this and then go over it and do a couple of coats. So that's been working better for me. I was a little frustrated with varnishing for a while. So let me, I have this dark kind of already started from, from uh, yesterday's painting. And I did get to work on my larger painting a little bit this past weekend. Um, I can show that to you too then. It's been a lot of fun. Now I'm just kind of playing. I don't. And that's a good color, I think. I gotta make it maybe lighter and bluer. That's nice. Nice kind of neutral color. Dark, medium, medium, and light. I need um, like purple. Um, right, I have to get, so when I'm mixing colors, I always have to clean my palette knife off with paper towels so that I don't mix the wrong colors into things. I'm going to put, um, my blue in here. And then maybe a little bit more of this. All right, that's good for my purples. Oh, now I need this cool light blues. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of cobalt green and mix it with my video blue extra pale. Hi, Vicashini. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Crystal. Um, Color right there, and I'm gonna do more of this. Um, what else do I need in there? Um, green. I need some um, green, and I'm gonna make the. I'm gonna use a little bit of warm white with the green. And see what? Yeah, that's a nice green. I'm going to make it a little darker. It's um, painting hydrangeas this morning. Um, and I think I'm good to start. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. All right, there. I have a little sip of my coffee. Well, I foolishly wore a top with a tassel on, and I need that. That was not a good idea for a painting morning. Okay. So I like to start in with some darks. Try to keep my darks transparent. That's not easy to do. Somehow I lose that, but uh, it's always my goal, like to have your your dark shadow areas be a little more transparent. Thanks, Lonnie. Dark in there has more green in it. Okay. That's 
more green than anything. Let me. That um, sap green is very transparent. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put more sap green on my palette. Hi, Hallie. How are you? Succulents. Oh, these are actually hydrangeas. I do love, I took pictures of succulents at market this past weekend. They would be fun to paint. 6.30 in the morning, good for you, Hallie. Your kids are probably already up anyway, aren't they? I think, see, there's the photo. I know the colors are so fun. Hallie was one of my uh, first like online art friends and I actually have one of her paintings here at my house and and my niece does too in Alexandria Virginia I went walked into my niece's house visiting her one day and one of Hallie's paintings was there I was like how did you know about Hallie Cohn and she said because you follow her I followed her too and bought one of her paintings like how fun is that so we keep wanting to take an, a course together, an in-person course. Wouldn't that be fun? So if you don't already follow Hallie, you can find her right here. Her artwork's amazing. And yeah, I love uh, this online community of artists. It's so fun, isn't it? Everybody's so nice and helpful and friendly. And the painting I have of Hallie's is um, you know, a dandelion. I love it. It's in my kitchen. One of my goals is one day when I have all my kids' college educations paid off, I would love to have a collection of all my artists' friends, a small, a small painting of them all on, filling a whole wall in my house. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be so cool. Mm. Thanks. Kitchen. Yeah, it certainly has become the most relaxing way for me to start my day. I can't remember without doing it. So I think I've been doing this maybe for painting every morning. I should have kept track. I think I have it somewhere written down. But maybe for like five years? I don't know. Now that I'm thinking, right now what I'm thinking about is this, this needs to go back further. See how light, I mean, how dark that is the shadow in here I need to get that darker in there and I guess it should be kind of green kind of um, I'm gonna put a little bit of Caribbean blue in there too and lighten it a little Ooh, that's a fun color let's just see what that looks So that pushed that back a little bit.
I should put in, oh, I'm sorry, now you don't see the painting. And does that look okay? There's a little bit of glare on the right, but not too bad. Um, the other thing I've been trying to think about while I'm painting is, um, like, neutral colors. Um, making things recede a little bit, like this is kind of a funky color back here, very neutral. So I'm going to add that in. Um, and how colors bounce, bounce um, off of each other too. That's another thing I'm concentrating on. Sorry. <clears throat> Hello. Okay. Okay, now I need to put some light colors in because I need to stay confident and have fun. Oh, yeah, I get them like for, I get the pigment sticks from Dick Flick or Jerry's Artorama. I'm sure you can order them. I don't know how much it'll cost to ship them. That's crazy the shipping to other countries, but it might not be bad. That brought that forward a little bit, right? I'm going to put some of these greens in here. And Yeah, I think it's worth it. Whoops, I think I need that to go back more. Yeah, do you think so? That's what I need. Sometimes I need to add something to so that I see where it's headed so that I don't um, get discouraged. And when I'm painting live on, on uh, and I know I only have an hour, I find that I uh, pay attention to the time too much. I don't want to do that either. And I could always just come back in and, and restart it after an hour, but um, I have to go to work. Crazy thing of going to work, huh? Sorry, I get quiet at this part. I have to, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We all have things we have to get done. I'm sure most all of us squeeze in painting uh, on the side of a busy life, but it is relaxing. It certainly relax into it, that's for sure that yoga last night and my yoga instructor said something like let yourself fall into the feeling 
and that's what I feel like when I paint. I think I fall, I fall into the flow of it. Julie, um, what size? Oh, I can show. I have bought one of the big ones, which are 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 cool too. But this is the um. Let me see. I have to make sure I'm showing you. I don't know what this is. This is there's two sizes. Oh, 38 milliliter. That's this, which is what I like. Then there's these bigger ones. Um, which would be great for a big painting, and there's nothing wrong with them, but, um, and this is, what is it, 100, so double the size, so those are the two sizes, I usually use the smaller size. That's good, I need to know that too, because when I go to order them, I can't remember, I, the crazy thing is I order my art supplies when I'm at work, but I only know what I need at home. I really should do it here. I'm not always the most organized person. This is fun. Let me put some of this in here. So whenever I'm painting, I'm always trying to balance um, painting what I see, but also um, being free with it and following my intuition and not necessarily painting exactly what I see. And with my background in graphic design, like I want it to be exactly what I see, but I, I that's not, um, when I started oil painting, my goal was to loosen up. and. And it's definitely helped me do that. Yeah, I think so, Ellen. I think most artists are. I admire the ones who aren't, but that's certainly not me. Or it might be one of the most disorganized people. I mean, and, and really, if you trust the process, like if there are things I need to take care of, at work or at home or whatever it is, like the thought comes back around to me just at the right time. Like sometimes you just have to trust that. And it usually happens. And it always amazes me when it does. I think, you know, I very rarely forget something. But I worry that like, you know, someone will buy a painting and I'll, I'll forget about it. And I go back through and check on that. Like, had that happened yesterday, someone had bought a painting. And I had written on Instagram that it was sold. And I forgot that it was sold. And then I wrote to them and got it all figured out. But it's a lot to keep up with for a disorganized person to keep up with on the fly. <clears throat> oh, good, Karen. I'm glad you enjoy it. <clears throat> I love it too. I actually look forward to doing this on Wednesdays. It's fun painting with you guys. sip of coffee and think for a minute here. They're fine colors, aren't they? 
I love them too. some of these little hints of light green. Doesn't really quite look green, but it is. <clears throat> oh, this is in a spot I missed here. Some really um, like colors. Colors make me long for spring. Yes. Yeah. Have, have you had a really wintering? We've had a cold winter here in the Northeast. Um, and it seems like more, more snow than usual, I think, but, um, you know, it's light in the mornings. I guess daylight savings times is, is going to happen, but it's just nice that the sun's out in the morning. It makes me so happy. Oh, I have this. All right. Um, there's a little hint of magical color right there. And then I have to look for spots, too, where I haven't even put any paint down, where the white's peeking through. <clears throat> getting there, right? getting close, right? I still have a few more minutes, so I'm going to think for a little bit. Um, this needs to have more of an edge here. It's kind of green. And it has a little that back right what do you think just just this flower and then I have to do um, my favorite part is the little middles of the flowers yeah knowing when you're finished is one of the hardest parts of painting. And I think it's uh, probably trusting your intuition. This painting is six inches by um, <laughs> eight inches, sorry. Yeah, and I paint the sides gold, so the sides of my painting are gold. I have a whole bunch of them here that I need to uh, prepare like that. And this dark area needs to go back a little bit more. Look at all 
those fun hearts dancing around. Thanks for sending the hearts. <clears throat> work on this fun part in here now. Um, <clears throat> so, um, now I'm going to check for any spots that I haven't, um, I don't have color. All right, so let's do this fun part here. I need to get some more of my Video Blue Extra Pale. Um, plus, I only have a few minutes. So could you readjust so we can see your iPad? Mm -hmm. That's pretty fun. The colors aren't are pretty... Um, Spot on, aren't they? Oh, that's fun. It's interesting to see it. I always like to look through it through my through when I'm when I'm doing this with you guys. Looking at it through the the phone is a really good way to um, see what you have going on. Blend this just the tiniest bit. And here. And then we're going to put a little bit of, that has just a little bit of purple, I'd say. And that is a little yellow. I need a little bit of yellow. A little kiss of yellow. What do I want? I am going to use a little... Um, oh, oh, here it is. I'm going to use a cadmium lemon. Please show the large... Oh, okay. All right. I will, Barbara. Let me finish this, and I'll show that to you, I think. I have six minutes. That's half a lifetime in morning time. I think we're good. Okay. I'm going to sign it, and then I'll show you my big painting over here. All right. You know what? I'm going to sign it afterwards because my crazy sleeves are going to get in the way. So that's how it ended up. And then I'll show you my big one. I'm going to unplug this. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I have to get back. I have to move... Uh, Sorry. So it's getting there. It's fun, right? Um, it's really hard to photograph large paintings, too. I cannot get it. Um, I can see, see a lot of glare in there, but I love, like, in here. I don't know if you can see that. There's some great colors. 
It's fun, right? It's been a really fun one to work on. So anyway, there, you can see it behind me. Whoops, so thanks so much for stopping and watching. Um, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I will post this on my website and also on, um, on my YouTube channel. And thanks guys, thank you Lou, thanks Karen. Thank you and have a wonderful day, bye.